plant anatomy and evolution, we have microfill and megafill. In this video, we are going to focus on megafills. Before anything technical, let's talk about evolution first. Evolution is the change in the heritable characteristics of biological populations over successive generations. Evolution occurs when evolutionary processes such as natural selection and genetic drift act on this variation, resulting in certain characteristics becoming more common or rare within the population. It is this process of evolution that has given rise to biodiversity at every level of biological organization, including the level of species, individual organisms, and molecules. So now that we know about evolution, let's move on to the rise of megafills. In contrast to microfills, megafills have multiple veins within the leaf and leaf gaps above them in the stem. Telum theory proposes instead that both microfills and megafills originated by the reduction. Microfills by reduction of a single telum branch and megafills by evolution from branched portions of a telum. Under megafills, we have euphilophytes. The euphilophytes are a clad of plants that include almost all living plants except the bryophytes and club mosses. This means that the euphilophytes encompasses over 95% of all living plants. It is a group that extends back to the Silurian period which makes character generalizations difficult. The name of the group indicates that these plants have true leaves, which are also called flat leaves. Euphilophytes are quite unlike the leaves of mosses or club mosses. On the other hand, the stem group for this clade exhibited pseudomonopodial growth with three-dimensional branching. Euphilophytes are divided into monilophytes which consist of ferns, horsetails, and such, equisitophytes which is now extinct, and spermatophytes which are seed plants. That's all for now. Thank you.